Hello everyone, welcome to Editop. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about the foreign exchange determination that how exchange rate is determined between two countries. Okay, as well as we will be talking about the appreciation of the currency and the depreciation of the currency and the effect of appreciation and depreciation on the country. So now before starting with the topic, uh, there is a big announcement from Editop that we are celebrating five years of trust with our students and we are providing 45 plus 5 percent off on all the courses and you can use the code five years to avail this offer. This is valid till 23rd January 2022. So here is the previous year question that why this topic is very important for the RBI grade B because the question has been asked in 2018 that rupees has been weakening off. So what is the meaning of weakening off? Uh, we will understand that today and this question you will surely be able to answer after we understand about the managed floating rate and the flexible rate and all. So now starting with the foreign exchange determination. See this is the topic which we will understand briefly before going forward to the appreciation and depreciation. How did uh, the exchange rate is determined between the two countries. So let's talk about India and America. So we are talking about rupees and the dollars here. So see when we are taking the dollar in the x-axis that means we are talking about the demand of dollars and the supply of dollars when we are talking about the rupees in the x-axis we are talking about the demand of rupees and the supply of rupees so see who is demanding the dollars here we are talking about the two countries India and America who is demanding the dollars the Indians will be demanding the dollars okay and who are supplying the dollars the Americans because it is their currency so they have the dollars now so they will be supplying the dollars who is demanding the rupees the Americans will be demanding the rupees or whichever country we are uh, considering that will be demanding the rupees and who is supplying the rupees Indians will be supplying the rupees because we are the ones that have the currency because it is our currency so we will be supplying the rupees so see here we have understood the demand and supply what we are talking about we are talking about dollars if it is uh, in the x-axis and rupees if it is in the x-axis so why are indians demanding dollars okay because we want to import from the america that's why we are demanding the dollars or we want to go to their country to travel okay we are the tourists that's why we are demanding or some we want to invest or something and why the Americans are supplying the dollars? They are supplying the dollars because they are importing from India and we are exporting or they are coming to India as tourists or travelers. So that's why they are supplying the dollars and such condition will happen with the demand and supply of rupees. Okay. So I hope you have understood that why we are demanding the dollars, why they are supplying the dollars. Now, how, when the demand and supply is equal, that is what we call the exchange. That is what is the exchange rate determination that where the demand and supply of dollars and demand for and supply of rupees is equal there the dollars will be equal to the uh, there the exchange rate will be determined. OK, so here let's say the dollar one is equal to 50 rupees and dollar uh, rupees one. Now, how can we come to the rupees one? How can we determine? So rupees 1 will become 50 will go to uh, the denominator. So dollar 1 upon 50. Okay. So 1 upon 50. So it will be 0 0.02 dollars. So rupees 1 is equal to 0 0.02 dollars and 1 dollar is equal to 50 rupees. So this is how the foreign exchange is determined. The foreign, uh, the foreign exchange rate is determined. Okay. By taking into account the supply and demand of both the currencies and where they are coming together. So now let's say the interest rate is more in America. It is 15% and our interest rate is only 10%. So now the Indians will want to uh, invest in or they want to save in America. So the demand for dollars will increase because we are demanding the dollars because we want to take the uh, benefit of 15% of interest rate in America. So the demand for dollars will increase because Indians are demanding more dollars now and the supply for rupees will increase because we are supplying more rupees because we are converting our rupees into dollars. So when the supply of rupees is increasing, you see here the demand is changing and there the supply will change. Okay. So both the, uh, both the uh, exchange will go together. So here the demand is increasing of dollars. The demand for dollars is increasing and here the supply for rupees is increasing because we are converting our rupees into dollars. So what will happen here? What is happening? The dollar has become now. The dollar has become dollar one equal to 70 rupees and here the it has become rupees one equal to 0 0.01 dollars. So that is rupees one has become 0 0.01 
dollars and rupees uh, dollar one has become uh, 70 rupees so can you tell me that which currency has appreciated and which currency has depreciated so now we are getting more rupees in one dollar we are giving more rupees in one dollar that means the dollar has appreciated the dollar has appreciated and our currency that is the rupees has depreciated because now for rupees 1 we are getting 0 0.01 dollars that is we before we were getting 0 0.02 dollars for 1 rupees but now we are getting less of the dollars okay so in appreciation what happens that uh, the currency that has appreciated so here the dollar 1 was for rupees 50 so in dollar 1 they were getting 50 rupees they were getting 50 rupees okay let's say this is 50 rupees but now for dollar one they are getting 70 rupees so that is they are getting more of the goods okay they were only able to get five goods before but now they will be able to get seven goods if per good is 10 rupees so now for dollar one the currency is appreciated that means they can buy more in our country for dollar one depreciation means that like rupees one was 0 0.02 dollar but it was getting two of the small goods before but now rupees one has become 0 0.01 dollar that is now we can only get one of that smaller good okay or one point something of that smaller good so this is the criteria of appreciation and depreciation appreciation means now with one dollar you can buy more in india and depreciation means with one rupees you can buy less in us now so this is the appreciation and depreciation depreciation means your currency is weakening off your currency is weakening off your currency is becoming weaker in the market and uh, appreciation means that your current, uh, currency is becoming, uh, becoming stronger you can buy more things with the same currency and here you can buy less thing with the same kind of with the same one rupees you can buy less thing and with the same one dollar you can buy more thing so this is appreciation versus depreciation now we can understand it more with the proper uh, things okay that what will be the effect of appreciation and what will be the effect of depreciation now we will understand the effects in the country so effect of appreciation means that imports have become cheaper appreciation means that if the as i told you now that now the americans can buy more goods in india okay so imports for americans so imports for americans have becoming become cheaper or we can say with the same amount they can buy more or we can say the uh, they can buy the same amount they can buy buy more with the same currency or they can buy the same amount with less money with this dollars okay so now either they can uh, take the uh, with the same currency with dollar one they can buy more or they can buy the same with less dollars okay maybe 0 0.9 dollars so imports have become cheaper and exports have become more expensive for the other country for indians now they are ex like americans the export of america has become more uh, expensive for indians because india's currency has uh, weakened off okay so for americans what will happen the increased quantity of imports they will import more because of costly their uh, import has become cheaper so they will take more from our country okay they will uh, take more potato more rice from our country because imports have become cheaper so decreased quantities of uh, export as well as what will happen that their quantity of export will decrease so their current account see whenever a currency appreciate na simply their exports uh, their imports increases and their exports decreases okay so their exports are uh, their exports are decreasing and their imports are increasing why their exports are decreasing because the that currency that has appreciated has become uh, very strong very expensive for the other country that currency that has appreciated has become expensive for the other country so the exports of that currency if, uh, the exports or the goods of that current, uh, country has become expensive so th there is decreased quantity of exports and the current account balance of payment can deteriorate because their exports are decreasing and their imports are increasing their imports are increasing exports are decreasing so inflation will lower in that country but see in the balance of payment or in the current account they are facing some 
problem but their inflation will lower because now they are getting more goods from the other countries from india we can say they are getting more goods so the inflation will lower in that country and effect of depreciation see in depreciation what is happening the exports will increase because the exports have become cheaper for the other country because the rupees has depreciated okay rupees has become cheaper so the exports or the goods has also become cheaper for the other country that is for america the export of india has become cheaper while the imports will decrease the imports of india will decrease because the american good has become very expensive for india so imports has become more expensive and the exports have become cheaper so decreased quantity of ex imports will happen and increased quantity of exports will happen and the current account balance of payment will improve because we are exporting more and we are importing less okay but decreasing okay it will also if it is a new like if it is a developing country it will also become self sufficient because with the exports is increasing so it will start establishing more production units and all more factories and all so this is the appreciation versus depreciation so this is the homework question this is the practice question for you guys that india's exports are rising and imports are falling this can be because of the possibility of okay so exports are rising imports are falling so what is the condition that must be going on in india what is the possibility okay as well as what do you think that uh, in india which is better that we want appreciation of our country or we want depreciation in our country that is depreciation of the currency we want appreciation of the currency or we want depreciation of our currency which will be better for india and why it will be better okay try to think about it okay and try to give one or two lines of answer in the comment section and why do you think that appreciation will be better or depreciation will be better because right now our currency was depreciating too much and it has come down to too much so what do you think that depreciation is better or appreciation is better try to think from your point of view that what do you think that which one is better so thank you very much if you have any query you can mail us here you can contact us through this number thank you very much